Oke, okay, hello everyone. My name is Ardi and we are going to self solve practice problem 5.10 from Sadiku book. And this is the circuit. There are three op amps, so quite complicated. And we have V1 is 7 volt. So let's replace that. 7 volt. And then V3 is 3.1 volt. Okay, and remember as a reminder that op amp has these properties the input voltage is, is the same between terminals so VA is equal to VB relative to the ground and then IA is equal to IB is equal to zero so IA and IB is the current that goes in into the op amp okay now let's see what can we do here so for start I will have this voltage here is 7 volt from the ground so that make that makes this not have the voltage of 7 volt and because VA is equal to VB in op amp so the voltage here will also be 7 volt and this is connected to this node so this node is also be 7 volt okay that is the first one and then the second one that can we do is here this op amp is connected directly to the ground and the ground is the place where the voltage is equal to zero so we will have the value of this node is zero volt okay now because we have op amp circuits we always need to do nodal analysis so let's write that and we need to do nodal analysis for this node here so let's name this as node a and then this node here let's name this as node b and this node here as node c okay let's start from node a so let's do kcl at not a so to do KCL we need to assume where the current goes so I will assume the current goes here going into the op amp and going out there so the first one I will have this current that goes in so KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out so the current that goes in is this one so and that one is equal to 3.1 minus the voltage here which is zero divided by the resistance between them so i will have 10 kilo ohm and that will equal to the current that goes out this current is going out and because it's going into the op amp that will equal to zero and then plus this current that goes out so i will have zero minus this voltage here which is vb divided by the resistance between it okay we can simplify this so i will have 3.1 over 10 is equal to minus vb over 50 so we can get that vb is equal to minus 3.1 over 10 multiplied by 50 this will cancel into 5 and i will have minus 15.5 volt for vb so i will have the value at vb so we'll have vb here which is minus 15.5 okay now let's do another kcl maybe at not c so i need to do kcl at not c because we have not know the value of it yet so we will do kcl at not c And I will assume where the direction of the current. So here 
and then this garden may be going there and then this garden have two so going into the op amp and then going pass through this 60 kilo ohm okay we have two currents that goes in and two currents that goes out so first current that goes in is VB and VB is minus this is 15.5 minus 15.5 minus VC divided by 30 and then this current here so I will have plus 7 minus VC divided by 20 and then that will equal to this current it is going into the op m so i will have zero because of these properties here and then that current that goes out so we'll have vc minus this is v0 and we need to divide it by 60. Okay, now let's simplify this. What can we do? We can multiply both sides by 60. Yeah, we can multiply both sides by 60. And let's see. We need to multiply it by 60. So we will have this multiplied by 2. So I will have minus 31. And then minus 2VC then this one plus 21 minus 3 vc and this one will be vc minus v0 okay now we will have this as yeah we'll have minus 10 yeah i think minus 10 and then minus Vc is equal to Vc minus V0 and that will make 6 Vc minus V0 yeah 6 Vc minus V0 is equal to minus 10 fault minus 10 i don't know the unit yet so let's just leave it as equation number one okay i think we don't need to solve save this as equation number one okay now let's see this op m is connected to the ground so here we have the value of this node is zero fold and this one here because of this property is also zero fold which makes that vc is equal to zero fold and that makes that this term is equal to zero yeah this term is equal to zero so i will have minus v0 is equal to minus 10 or v0 is equal to 10 fold and that is the question of the problem so we have found the final answer here so hopefully i did not make any mistakes in the calculation and if you find this helpful please like this video and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching